Hey y'all. Have you ever had a project that just turned into an absolute dumpster fire? In this video, I want to show you how this dumpster fire of a project was salvaged into something halfway decent. My print had multiple failures, but I was lucky enough to solve the problem to get the print started again. And completed. I was beginning to run out of heat inserts, so this is how I reuse inserts from test prints I am no longer using. You'll see why I went with a massive cooler in a follow-up video, but I did have to modify the stock VRM heatsink to fit. I marked out where the heat pipes were hitting the VRM heatsink, and used the Dremel to shave down the fins. Here I am doing a final test fit before calling the surgery done. Luckily AMD's heatsink latch design hasn't changed much over time. I think I got this heatsink in 2006, and it's almost 2023 now. When I designed this case, the power button was destined to be a part of another piece, so I had to improvise while saving this dumpster fire. When I share this file, it will have the power button in the right place though. And as usual, I will be using heat inserts where screws are needed. Here's a quick peek of why the project failed. Ugh. But I was able to sort of salvage the case by simply printing a top and bottom portion for the piece that held the motherboard. The top portion can hold the fan using these inserts. If you have kids or pets, I would not recommend making a case like this, since nothing is really holding it together besides gravity. This was just a fun way to salvage a project, but I was still curious how it would perform thermally given the form factor was never part of the initial design. This crude airflow test using incense shows how well air flows into the case. Keeping in mind that I'm using a silent profile for thermal testing, it was amazing to see such low temperatures with very little noise coming from the PC. I wanted to make this video to show people how you can save failed projects with a little creativity. I could have easily just thrown away this project, but it's really nice that I was able to add it to my growing collection of 3D printing cases. There will be a follow-up video coming soon that will show the original intention of this failed project, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. If you like how I saved this project, please hit the like button and also comment what you think about it down below. I'm also curious if anyone can guess what the initial design intent was. Can you guess what I was going for? Let me know in the comments. As always, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video, and I hope I have helped or inspired you to make projects on your own. Till next time!